from a 65. Let's see where we end up. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be giving our first thoughts and impressions and drive on the cam and heads on the 2019 Camaro. That is right, guys. We are back at it again. And as you guys can see, it's night, bright and sunny. And finally got a chance to take the Camaro out after getting it dialed in by Pat G who did an amazing job with it and man let me tell you guys it feels amazing R right now we'll be going over a little bit of a drive and talking about just what the characteristics are of going with a big cam not having a stall and some of the things that I feel were done that kind of are having it affect the way that it drives slightly not saying anything bad that it drives bad or anything it's just very different from a normal stock car and man does the power does the power come in and it is amazing it has a lot of very different unique characteristics to it but before we get to that guy i want to talk about the giveaway mustang again guys if you guys are just following or tuning in my name is jorge and this year for 2020 my goal was to try to grow the channel and bring give you back to you guys way more than i can way way more than what i have been doing and the first thing starts with this mach 1 mustang for those that you don't know this is a 2003 mach 1 pretty much all original that i brought back to life uh has full paint correction everything and just really beautiful looking car but i plan on giving this car away and how am i giving this car away well it's very very simple um you basically need to join my patreon account uh, i do have one in the link down in the description below sign up it's five dollars to become a channel supporter and that is gonna help me get the funds to be able to one give this car away and two travel across the country and do a lot more content for you guys because i know you guys want to see that so with that you guys will be helping me out and hopefully i'll be giving one of you guys this car so the goal is to get to a thousand channel supporters or a thousand patreons and when that happens that following month this car will be given away in the meantime though as we progressively grow and hopefully grow the patreon account every month i will be giving something away to the current from the current subscribed patreons so this month of january we're coming to the end and right now i only have three current patreons so one of you three will be getting a prize a 50 dollars gift card or something like that um, and as the patreon account grows if we get 50 100 200 300 the more we have the bigger the prizes i can give away guys let's get to 1000 click in the description below sign up and i can't thank you guys enough for the support uh, hopefully the channel keeps growing and we can sh get, bring you guys amazing content and don't worry if you're one of the first ones that signs up and we don't get to a thousand till the end of the year I'm gonna be giving away giveaways every month every month I'll be giving something away the bigger the number of patreons we have the bigger those prizes can be I'm talking car parts I'm talking you know really really big stuff $500 gift cards all that amazing stuff so make sure you click in the link below check out the patreon account subscribe and help me um, realize my dreams and get to where I want to get anyways guys let's get back to the Camaro and oh my god it is a beast finally today we have some amazing good weather so we're gonna go take a little drive and show you guys just how much powerful this car has gotten all right, so hopefully this is a good angle for you guys. I've got the GoPro kind of mounted on the sunroof, so it might shake a little bit. But, I mean, when you first start it up, I mean, it idles just fine. It does shake the car a bit, but nothing too crazy. And when you go into reverse, you do have to kind of be very slow with the reverse. Make sure you're on the brake, because um, the car will kind of shake back and forth, though. Like that. If you let go of the brake too much, that's what happened. So you have to barely ease out of the brake for the reverse so that the car kind of is somewhat smooth in reverse. So again, this is a somewhat of a big cam, 
um, the car I would say is about a two and a half a stage two and a half so it's not the greatest at like low RPM so it still idles and everything fine but here when you kind of take off you don't want to really give it gas you want to let it roll through and slowly build RPMs on by itself because if you don't it's very twitchy now we did make some changes to the tube what you're seeing is the pedal is more sensitive so if you just give it a little bit of tap it'll kind of bog out or die out so um, just something that kind of gets exacerbated with the tune so here we'll go ahead and kind of give it a little bit of throttle there that see that little that little blip there it happens every now and then if you just barely tip in if you're a little firmer with the gas as you go then it's not as bad sometimes it doesn't it doesn't happen all the time especially if you're really firm with the gas um, so it's part of having a big cam with uh, without a stall guys um, and there is just no traction whatsoever so you guys will hopefully be able to see the flashing lights uh, right now so from like let's say a 20 it just spins I mean just see nothing but spinning from a 40 if you're in a 40 and this is all in drive guys from 45 spins and then you get these pops <laughs> the pops are the craziest thing about this I mean I feel like let me the pops are just insane the car really feels good guys it really feels good um, and it's fairly good weather it's in the 60s but man it just I mean the pops are just out of this world really really crazy and this thing's probably gonna be shaking a lot unfortunately I wish it didn't shake as much but it does let me try to hold it here so you guys can see just what I mean. So from here, I mean it just spins. The car just spins like nobody's business. And the pops, guys! Oh my goodness, the pops are insane. I Jesus. Let's get on the highway so we can get a little bit more leg stretched in from 63 I mean wow still spinning the car was still spinning there from about 63 miles an hour I mean you just saw how quickly I mean that just went like a blur that was just there like a blur guys that was insane oh my god yep this car is gonna be a handful from a 65, let's see where we end up. Woo! Man. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the pops in this thing is ridiculous oh my god anyways guys <laughs> what do you think of that I mean it just pulls instantly I mean I don't even know how fast we got to there on that one but it was insane definitely definitely happy with this with this setup guys now let's put this into tour mode and get it nice and quiet so now the valves are closed so check out the difference from the first pull where the valves were open and this pull where the valves are closed I mean night and day difference guys night and day difference I mean so quiet doesn't draw attention to you that is one reason why 
I decided to keep my stock MPP dual mode exhaust because of just this basically two personality, two different personalities that the car has. You have the very nice tone quiet personality and then you have the sport loud personality which is just insane. The loud personality is basically a straight pipe guys. When you when you put it in sport and you open the valves up, it's basically a straight pipe. Alright, so from a 40. Jesus, just the car just spins. <laughs> and the pops, guys, that's the craziest part about this thing. Oh my god, the pops. But yeah. I'm going to be going through tires very quickly. Anyways, guys, let's get back to the house because I might get in trouble out here. All right, guys, we are back home. And like I showed you guys in the video, this thing does not hook so much power. And that's because we are running on 305 tires here, guys. But these are our Eagle F1 uh, Goodyear tires. Uh, definitely not the best, um, but they're fairly new i mean the the wear on these has been uh have, well i haven't driven the car much but you can see there the tires are still fairly new so we've got a bit to go before we can get those taken out i'm sure a few burnouts will try to take care of that but um once we get rid of these tires and we wear these tires out we probably will be going with the Toyo R888s, those should help me because right now, guys, there's nothing I can do with this car. I, I can't really drive it on the street. You guys saw it spins from 30, 40, 50, even over 60 miles an hour in drive. I'm not even putting it down into gear. I can only imagine how it'll spin if we drop the gear down and then just smash the pedal. So that is something that we've got to take care of. Luckily, I do have my uh drag radials for when we go to the track which should help a little bit those are also coming down to their end of life so i've got quite a bit of money to spend on just tires alone uh in the next month or so then sorry for the wind noise guys it's a little windy here but the car sounds amazing let me go ahead and give you guys a little another warm start Yep, that sounds crazy. And I'm sorry for the wind noise, guys. But man, that sounds awesome. All right, so we do have hopefully good weather coming up this next Friday. Uh, and so we do have a track video coming so stay tuned for the next video after this because we probably will be doing a track video so we can finally see just what this car is going to run at the track so i'm very excited for that so make sure you subscribe to check my latest video when we take this car to the track with the heads and cam anyways guys comment down below let me know what you guys think what do you guys think this car is going to run at the track uh, like I said, the next video will be the track video, so I want to hear you guys' impressions and what you guys thought of it. Uh, I, I do need new tires, but hopefully the car will run really, really well, and we'll get to see some good track numbers. But man, guys, this car is very impressive, and the pops, the pops this thing makes is insane. The new cam profile, I guess, pretty much you can make it pop massively at any just part throttle. You don't even have to go full, full wide open throttle, which is amazing. Just like that, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the drive and kind of just a little bit of show, first impressions on how this car drives. Don't forget, Patreon link down below. Make sure to become a Patreon so that we can give this car away to one of you lucky 1,000 Patreon supporters. See you guys in the next video.